Welcome to the plus add-ons tutorial. Today I'm gonna demonstrate info box. First of all, it have the layout option, listing and carousel. First of all, we will look into the listing option. Once you select the layout, you have options for the styling. There are total six styles available. So you can choose any style from these options and according to style there will be options for the title, description, alignment, link, icon option and button. In the description you can use the HTML or the text content. Also you have the option for the alignment left, center and right. You can set up a link on this info box. You have the option for the icon, image, and SVG. You can select any of those. Right. If you select the SVG, there will be a pre built SVG icon as well as custom upload option. All those are available. In the image, you can select any image, and that will be on the top of the in place of the icon section or you can select the icon. In the icon, we have a two font family, icons mind and font awesome. Then you have the button option. You can turn it on or keep that off. If you turn it on, there are three styles you can choose from. Then that is the button text, the link, again, the font options, you can choose the icon, you can choose the icon position, you can choose the icon spacing, all options are available here. Then in the styling tab, you have the option for the title style of the typography. You have all the options of selection, font family, font size and every option. In that font family, font size, line height and latest spacing have a responsive options available then you have the title color option its a color option is available for the normal and for the hover then there is the title top space option available so you can manage the space above and below the title then you have the bottom border style option so you can display border you can decide the border width, height, and the color. You can turn it off if you want to, and you can keep it. Then there is the description style. There is typography options, description color, and description whole color. Then there is the background options, in which you have the box border option, it have the border color, border width, border radius, and that options are available for the normal and the hover section. After that, there is the background option. In that, there is the hover animation options. So that when you have two background colors, let me show you the initial. This is the gradient, and on hover, if we choose another gradient. For example, these colors and effect have the animations from the top from sliding bottom that is a fade-in option as well so this option will work once you have the two do two different background options selected from here you can select the classic background color as well you can create these kind of effects using with background options. Then you have the option for the box shadow, 
for normal and hover. After that, there is a button style option. There is option to put a space above the button. Then there is the padding option. You have the options for the typography, the text color option. It's available for the normal and hover both. You have the background color option. So you can select the button background color. You have the border style option, border width, border color, border radius, box shadow. All options are available for the normal and the hover part. Then there is the icon style option available. In the icon style, you can choose different shapes. For example, there is the round shape, hexagon shape, and other options are available. You can change the icon size, icon width, and the color. Color option is available for normal and hover both the way. Also, the background color also available for the normal and hover. You can choose the gradient as well. There are lots of possibilities here. You can set up the gradient angle and everything. Then there is the border color option as well. So you can change the border color. Border radius, box shadow options are available. After that, there are extra options. In the extra option, you can select the box padding. Right. There is also options for a tilt 3D parallax effect. If you turn it on, there are options for the tilt option. You can select any options and customize it the way you want. But when you turn it on, it have this kind of effect. It will scale up and it have the effect. Right. If you turn it off, the effect will go. Then there is the option for a minimum height section. This option is mostly useful for the responsive. In normal case, in info box, if we have a four section in one row, in general, all the descriptions are of a different size. Right. And we face the problem in some screen that some section will be look bigger and some are small. If we want, if we want to maintain all same, then we can define minimum height for all. We should define the minimum height as per the requirement so that we can maintain all height same for all screen sizes also you have the option for the tablet and mobile so you can maintain the minimum height in all the devices available then there is the box hover effect option there are lots of hover effects available you can check it out you can choose whatever you want and all the sub options are available all the meta options are available for example if you choose shadow radial there needs to be a shadow color so that meta color meta option is available underneath that if there is something push then do no no need of shadow color so it's not available there then there is the responsive responsive visibility option available so if you want to hide that particular info box in the desktop or the tablet or the mobile you can do that by your own then there is an on scroll view animation and in the advanced step plus extra options are available a detailed video about all plus extra section is in our channel so you can check it out from there we we have skipped the carousel option in the beginning let's discuss on that now For the carousel options, right now we have just one fill, so let's duplicate it. After that, once you choose the carousel options, in the style tab, you will have a carousel options. You need to go to the carousel options, there are slider mode, which one you want, horizontal or vertical. Vertical is coming soon, so let's keep the horizontal, and there is a slide speed. 
and we have to select the column options this is the one column you can choose the column values in the tablet and mobile as per your needs there is a next previous option that means one column or all visible column if you have a If you have a two column and if you select one column that means when you press next or press on dot it will go to one column next and if you select all visible column that means when you next both the columns will be changed right now you can see the example more clearly if you have a one column there will be a six to seven dots and if you select the all visible columns there will be a less dot and it will change two columns at the time and if you have three columns at the time it will change three at the time right then there is the option for the slide padding so you can adjust the padding then there is the option for the draggable if you want to keep it draggable then you can turn it on or you can turn it off if you don't want a draggable there is option for infinite mode there is option for pose on hover there is option for adaptive height auto play auto play auto play speed then you have the options for the dots there are seven styles for the dot and all the meta values are available so you can adjust and customize as per your needs you have the top padding so you can adjust that as per needs also there is option on hover dots if you turn it on the dots will be invisible by default and when you hover on that dots will be visible then there is the option for the arrows there are six styles available and you can select the style and all the meta values will be available at the bottom there is again option for the on hover arrow if you turn it on it will available only on the hover if you hover out it will be invisible then there is the option for the center mode in the center mode you can adjust the center padding and you can select the slide effects like this you have the scale effect and the shadow effect and have all the meta options available so you can customize it as per your needs if you select the scale option there is the center slide slide scale so you can select how much you want to scale it and there is the normal slide scale so you can shrink it or make it bigger if you have the option you also have the normal slide opacity option so you can adjust the opacity of those extra slides in the carousel you also have the option for the rows you can set up two rows or three rows you need to have enough enough number of info boxes for that right also you have the space option in between the rows so you can adjust that as well so here were the options for the info box if you have any further questions write us on the comment box below hope you enjoyed this video tutorial on info box subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this do check all the related links in the description below thanks for watching and keep crafting amazing websites see you in the next video